Hi everyone, this is actually a scrapbooking, um, uh, what's the word, video, but I just want to share with you, I just finished my uh, son's Halloween costume. I had to make something, I don't know why I'm compelled to make something, but um, I decided to make him a monster this year, and uh, this whole costume cost me about $10, and that's because I went to our dollar store, and I bought the hat, came with the horns, and I made these eyes with the eyelashes, these are his gloves. He'll be wearing these blue fuzzy gloves. Here's his. And his little head goes in here. And I have these teeth here to keep the feathers out of his eyes. And then the whole thing's feathers. And it's got um, an orange mohawk down the middle. And uh, this was actually a dress at our dollar store for adults. But I just cut the halter part off. So that would hang. And he can wear warm clothes underneath. And then these are the shoes. I took gloves and bought... Um, Halloween nail things and just cut a hole in the bottom of the shoe and then that's how it turned out. He really likes it. He's really cute in it. So that's it. I just want to share that quickly and then this is the scrapbook part. This is my new layout that I made and there would be my big pregnant belly. <laughs> that's getting in the way now. I'm 24 weeks. So I'm getting quite huge. I tend to have 10 pound babies so this one will be even bigger. Hopefully not. <laughs> But, um, so anyways, this is the layout. Um, I did a train layout. It's not 100% complete because a lot of my scrapbooking things are packed away. Because I'm trying to get the house ready um, to sell. So we only have two bedroom. We need a three bedroom now. So um, what I have packed away is just some raffia that I want to put here and make it look like hay. And then some moss I'm going to put over here, over his name. His name's Cohen. And I also need some raffia it's just to fill in this space right here. But um, I strayed away from the Terror Bears and I decided to um, draw. I was in a drawing mood and then for the second half I wasn't. And I do have to be in the mood to draw. So, but anyways, um, I forget who does this paper. I really, really love it though. I've had it for a while and I saved it for myself. But um, yeah, so it inspired me to do trains, obviously. And um, here I just have fabric button and an ice cream bread, and then I made my own bobble. It's um, of this train, but smaller version right there. And here I have a sun bread, and um, that's a bread from our dollar store. Little metal ladybug, and all the pictures slip underneath there. And the ribbon, there's a ribbon on this one too. And here, this is metal friends. It's a bread. Another bread with a little ribbon. And then I did chugga chugga choo choo. And that's my little elephant that I drew. And I put glossy accents on the eyes and the mouth and his nails. And then there's brads on um, the wheels there. And all this is sewn. The entire uh, train is sewn. And here I made a little charm out of a frame. I took that paper. And then I put glossy, I don't know if it'll pick up the glare, glossy accents on there to make it look like glass. And then here, um, train and sparkly letters, and then I added some pearls and some jewels. This is where I didn't feel so much like drawing, so it didn't turn out. I'll probably end up redoing it, to be quite honest. But I um, added some bling. Those are the Prima, I forget what they're called, Satan Studs, I think. They had those at our dollar store for a dollar, so that was great. So I think they're usually about six, seven dollars US, so. Those are my little monkeys. Um, I feel okay about my monkeys. <laughs> Somewhat. I guess I was in a little bit more of a better mood for drawing there. Add a little apple bread, some sparkles, and then I have these plastic banana charms that I found at a thrift store. Um, and I have little leaves there, and just some twine that I sewed on, and then my little lions, and I added a little bell charm. I flattened it so it wouldn't stick out so much when it actually goes into the scrapbook. And here, just a little family tag. It says family, um, one great ride. And here is um, another photo mat. Um, there's turns here. So I can journal or I can add a little picture if I want. And these pull out. So I'll put a picture on the back of those. I'll leave the animals because I think they're cute. And then um, here, I just have um, these are eyelets that I got. It's an elephant, a giraffe, there's a little lion back there, and a monkey. So I put twine through it, and then I added this leaf ribbon, and little prima flowers with some um, pearls in the middle. And then this pulls out, 
Another place for a photo of journaling. Just added the leaf to the giraffe. And then back here is another envelope. And I forgot that I had these out. And then I just have three little photo mats that will slide right in there to hold more pictures. And then that will just slip back in there. But that's it. I was busy doing a capstan, that's why I didn't have a video up last week. So um, maybe I'll do a quick video on that one. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. And um, I plan on doing more scrapbooking today. So hopefully next week I'll have something up. Thanks. Bye.